Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 tips and tricks to save energy at the Samsung Galaxy S23. By the way, this works of course also for S23 Plus and S23 Ultra. And the first thing I want to show you is uh, the phone is looking always for Bluetooth devices, even if you have turned off your Bluetooth. So let me show you what you should do to remove that feature and that saves energy. So just scroll down here. Now I've actually here enabled the Bluetooth, but I will remove it here like this. And I recommend just to you, if you don't need Bluetooth at this moment or Wi-Fi, please disable this one. Eh? Something pretty simple, but it saves energy as well. Uh, but your phone is still looking for Bluetooth devices. Now what I've said, let me show you how you can disable this. So just go here uh, to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to look for the first point of the settings, the connections. And uh, you will find the point more connection settings. And we will need this point here, nearby device scanning. So if you tap on it, you will see uh, some explanations here. And, uh, even if you have turned off your Bluetooth, uh, the phone will still looking for Bluetooth devices. Maybe if you're buying some Galaxy Buds or a Galaxy Watch, the phone recognizes them if you have bought it brand new and gives you um, yeah, the opportunity to install it. But for that, just turn on Bluetooth. Huh? Because you can just use them if you have turned on your Bluetooth. So um, please uh, off this feature here because you don't need that and it saves energy. Another point you may never mind about is the vibration. If someone is calling you, uh, even if you have the ringtone turned on, the vibration is coming and that takes a lot of energy. Uh, but uh, if you want to keep going on with the vibration, what well, is okay, um, there's also a way to reduce the intensity of the vibration. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then look for the point sounds and vibration. And here we have a bit below the point um, vibration intensity. And you can set up um, how strong the vibration should be then. Uh, and I would recommend to you to reduce it to the half here at the calls at notifications and the media. So and that saves a lot of energy. Um, you should try that out. Okay, let's come to the display now because the display is taking the most energy here at the phone. And uh, let's start maybe with a refreshing rate. Um, a refreshing rate with 120 hertz is nice, but you don't need that to be honest. Maybe in games that's okay, but uh, for the daily use, you don't need that. Let me show you uh, how you can reduce that. So just scroll down here, then tap you on the symbol for the settings, then look for the point display. And here you should have a look at the motion smoothness. Actually, it's an adaptive, so it will regulate a bit, but most of the time you will run with 120 hertz. Um, but usually standard is absolutely okay. And let me tell you that most of the phones you had in the past just had 60 hertz. And did it disturb you? No. Please change it and you will save a lot of energy. I promise you. Okay, let's come to the AMOLED screen. So it gives you brilliant colors and so on, but there's another advantage of these OLED panels because if there are darker areas here, like at this wallpaper, then the pixels are reducing the light huh? or turn it off completely in some very dark areas. And that saves energy, of course. Huh? By the way, this is the reason why Samsung have uh, chosen this dark wallpaper here huh? to save energy gives the battery a longer uh, one time. Okay, let me show you how we can enable this dark theme in general here at the phone. So just scroll down here, scroll down the second time, by the way, we have much more icons here, and a second page, and you will find the moon symbol. Tap on it and you will see that you have enabled now the dark theme. Uh, let me show you a bit in the settings, so you can see it as best. Now everything is dark here in the background and that saves a lot of energy because the pixels are turned off here. Um, pretty, pretty nice. A big advantage of this uh, thing is uh, that um, if you are maybe in the night or in the evening hours and you look to your smartphone screen, uh, usually if you have the bright screen, it's uh, not that comfortable for the eyes, but with the stark theme, it becomes more comfortable. Otherwise, if there's a lot of daylight, you can't really read well on the screen. That's the reason why I recommend to you to only use this dark theme here in general in the evening hours or at night, and that you don't have to Turn it on and off by your own. You can schedule it automatically. For that, just scroll in here, scroll in a second time, go to the second page, and tap now on the written work on the written word here, dark mode. Go in details, and 
turn on a schedule here and choose the first point from sunset to sunrise. That means whenever the sun sets, the dark mode will turn on and if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. Okay, another point is as more brightness the screen has, as more energy it takes. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time and now you have this little panel here to reduce or increase the brightness. No? And uh, yeah, it's a bit hidden, but you can set up this uh, little uh, bar here also generally on top um, for your notification uh, center. So just tap on the three points, then go on quick panel layout and choose the first point your brightness control and put it, also enable the first one here, show always. No? So uh, that means um, if you scroll down now, you have it immediately. No? You, you can increase it or reduce it um, immediately and it makes it much more comfortable. But uh, there's also another way I want to show you because you can give it an extra dim, what is pretty nice also in the evening hours. No? So just tap you on the symbol for the settings, then scroll down to the point accessibility and you will find the point of visibility enhancements. And now we will need the point uh, extra dim. Here it is. Okay, if you tap on it, you will have some options now. So let me enable this first and you see it and we have an extra dim of another 10% and it saves, of course, a lot of energy. Uh, and uh, this is only so nice for the eyes in the evening hours or, or the night. No? Uh, so if you're working in the night, you should really enable this feature here and that you don't have to turn it on and turn it off by your own because it's very deep in the settings as you have seen. You can create a shortcut. No? Just tap on extra dim shortcut. Turn on the first point here. Tap the accessibility button. Um, then you have this little guy here. Huh? So whenever you tap on a guy, you can turn it off or turn it on pretty, pretty easy. As you can see in that saves also a lot of energy because 10% of the display brightness, the display brightness is a lot. Yeah? So I recommend this feature here to you. Okay, another important point is the screen timeout. So that means if you don't use your phone, the screen turn off automatically after basically 30 seconds. Maybe you have increased it already, then I would recommend to you to increase it to a maximum of one minute. Let me show you a bit more what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point display and here we will need to point a bit lower the screen timeout. So I'm actually two minutes here. This is uh, just to show you the video a bit better here, but I would recommend to you to have it at maximum at one minute huh? or better you leave it at the default settings with 30 seconds because this saves a lot of energy and yeah, don't increase it too much. Yeah, you can see you can save a lot of energy at the display, uh, but you can save also energy at the antennas. So we had that a uh, bit at the beginning with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and so on, but you can save also at the 5G antenna. Huh? Many providers doesn't support 5G, but the 5G antenna is still working and it takes energy. Huh? In case you're having a provider which one doesn't support the 5G, then you should remove it so for, for the moment at minimum. Huh? So let me show you how you can do that. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then you need to go to the first point of the settings, the connections, and you will find the point mobile networks. Okay, and you will have the network mode, and here we have the point 5G, LTE, 3G, 2G. No? LTE means 4G. Huh? Okay, and I would recommend to you if your provider doesn't support 5G, take the second one here, with LTE, 3G, and um, 2G. And you can save also energy with a nice software tool here because uh, some stuff running sometimes in the background and you don't need it anymore. Let me show you a bit more about it. So just scroll in here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Scroll down now to the point uh, battery and device care. Here it is. And uh, here you can see, um, yeah, you can optimize your phone a bit. No? In case it's written great and everything is fine, but uh, if you have this one here, or if it's written worse or something like this, then you should optimize it. No? Just go and optimize now, and the phone is closing many stuff in the background, and it will save energy as well. In this phone, I have also a power saving mode, which combines some of the things I've shown you in that video. And uh, you can squeeze out here the maximum of the power saving mode again. Uh, because there are some moments maybe you don't need really your phone but you still want to be online or uh, 
people should reach you and so on. Then you can enable an ultra power saving mode. And this ultra power saving mode can extend the battery time to three times. So you can really save energy with that. Uh, let me show you a bit more about it. Well, that just scroll down here, scroll down the second time, and then just tap you on the battery symbol and you've enabled the power saving mode. What happened is the display brightness will decrease the 10%. The CPU speed is limited now. Um, some background activities are reduced out. We have now the refreshing rate of 60 Hz, what we have learned here also in the video. Um, so something nice. Um, but uh, some tools, if you want to make navigation or something like this, it doesn't work really well. Uh, um, or some things, if you have uh, Warner for water control or something like this, it doesn't work so well then uh, with this power saving mode here. Um, so just follow the steps I've given you before in that video. Uh. Okay, but I want to show you something else here at the power saving mode. Now let me turn it off. Uh, tap you on the written word power saving mode. Go on details because you can squeeze out the maximum here of the power saving mode and then it's a nice tool. That means if you don't use your phone actually or maybe also in some emergency cases. Now, if you have just 6% of your phone and you know that you have to go for some hours again, then you can enable an ultra power saving mode. So just enable the last point, limit apps and home screen. So let's enable now the power saving mode and let's have a look what happens. We have now a limited app screen right now and with some tools we have learned already here dark, the dark mode because many pixels are turned off here and it saves a lot of energy. We have an earlier team uh, screen timeout and we have limited apps here on the screen. Uh, so uh, these four apps are given uh, and the last four apps you could choose by your own. Uh, just tap on the plus symbol and you can choose one of your apps here and can work with them. Even games works here in that mode. Okay, and here you can see also uh, with 90% of battery, we have 14 days remaining. Huh? So pretty, pretty nice. And hey, maybe this saves your life one day, this mode here. So you should know about, you should prepare before a pretty, pretty nice mode. And if you're back, if you have uh, the chance to charge your phone again, or if you say, okay, I need the other stuff here, uh, just tap on the three points go on turn off power saving mode and you're back in a regular mode. And by the way, nothing is deleted in the background or something like this. It's just another desktop for the ultra power saving mode. Pretty, pretty nice one. Okay, we are at the last point and this is something uh, for saving the battery a bit because you can extend the battery life span. No? Not really something to save energy for the moment, but to have your phone for long and that saves as well energy. Yeah? Uh, the reason is um, you should take care if you charge your phone because your uh, charging level for the battery should be always uh, in between 20% and 85%. Uh, in my case here I have 90% right now, that's already too much, that's not so good for the battery. Uh, and if you have your phone um, charged, uh, then uh, yeah, you cannot check always uh, when you reach uh, the 85%, uh, but the phone can do that for you. Let me show you a bit more about So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Uh, look then for the point battery and device care. We had it before you already. And tap now on battery. And you will have a point more battery settings. And the last point here of it is the protect the battery. Um, and if I turn it on, that means that if, the, if you charge your phone, the charging will stop automatically at 85 percent and that protects the battery a lot and yeah please mind stay always between 20 percent of the battery and 85 percent of the battery and that will give you a long lifetime for the phone's battery yeah i hope i could uh, show you here some nice tips and tricks for your phone that you can save energy with that and uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. Now I've created also some other videos. Uh, if you're interested in it, some more tips and tricks and so on. Now you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much. And uh, yeah, let's save energy. And maybe until next time. Ciao.